Hey, welcome to a brand new show presented by the Center for Games Interactive Media at UW Wisconsin Green Bay. I'm uh, Chris McCouse Williams. I'm one of the co directors of the center, and I'll be the host for this show, which I'm calling Reading Scrolls Online, in which an English professor plays Elder Scrolls Online and reads every single book he finds. Every one of them. All of them. That includes listening to all the dialogue, all the lore, all the good stuff that a lot of people just skip right past. We're going to take our time and experience all of it. So, if that sounds interesting to you, then uh, you're in the right spot. If not, well, there's plenty of other places to be, I guess. Uh, so, uh, for this playthrough, uh, I played Elder Scrolls Online off and on, for, I don't know, um, since it came out. Uh, but I don't play the Sorcerer, and because reading is magic, I thought we'd make a Sorcerer for this time around. Uh, and I think we're going to make a Khajiit, because I don't think I've ever made a Khajiit before either. And it seems like a... Uh, a cat sorcerer reading book seems like a good time. Uh, so we're gonna we're gonna focus on that then. Um, so we got race, we got class figured out. Let's do randomized appearance. Oh man. Oh my. <laughs> Might have got it in one. This guy looks pretty good. A little scar there, seen some stuff. I don't know about the hair. Maybe maybe we can change the hair around. Uh, what do we do? That we go to face. Um, and let's go find out, uh, hair, what's hair, hairstyle, mm. let's kind of look up, receding hairline there a little bit, I mean that's pretty good, just right up and right up top there, like radish sprout. Oh, what else? I like this thing too. A little, I like a cowlick almost. The high ponytail. Which one was it? Where were we with that? Oh, no, I think I missed it. There's two of them, right? That's. I mean, I guess I, I'm assuming I know what a high ponytail is. Is that the high point tail? No, it'd be like low. I mean, that's pretty good if that's what we're thinking. Yeah. I like the silver on it too. Okay, cool. We'll go, we'll go with that guy. Um, a Khajiit name. Cat name. Khajiit names, I think, typically have like, there's like an apostrophe, right? Uh, yeah, perfect. I'm glad I got it. Uh, yeah, I mean, that, that is pretty good. Uh, okay, but a Khajiit name. I think something like a Z. Like Z-H, apostrophe, Z-A-R. Zazar. See, I should have to say it, though. Zazarsa? Zazarsa sounds pretty good. Zazarsa. That seems like a, a cat who would read a bunch of books. Alright, let's do it. Oh, I think we're going to do the tutorial this time, because there might be books in the tutorial that I need to read. Uh, so we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna start from the very, very uh, beginning here. I, you know... I've experienced some of the lore, just, and I've listened to some of the uh, the conversations. But I've also been guilty of just kind of like cruising past, because uh, there's simply so much of it. Like they built such a world, a rich world that has all kinds of stuff in it. It's hard to experience all at once. So I'm excited to maybe re-experience some of the stuff I might have cruised right past. Okay. And here we have the first person I'm going to talk to exhaustively. There you are, on your feet. I know magical translocation can really upset the stomach. Just take a moment and get your bearings, all right? Where am I? The Isle of Balfiera, home of Clan Berini. I apologize for the cramped accommodations. We pride ourselves on courtesy, but circumstances here have so. taken a turn for the bazaar. I needed to make sure you weren't a danger to yourself or... The island we're on, right? The island. The world is Tamriel, right? We've... 
and we've experienced a lot of those. Like Morrowind's a very famous setting in that, right? Skyrim, obviously. Uh, I don't know if I know where the Isle of Balfrieri, Bal, where the Isle of Guy Fieri is. Um, where the Isle of Balfrieri is. Uh, I guess we'll find out. Can you let me out? You might not be so eager to escape once you hear what's going on. You arrive via a portal, along with a deatric beast called Shyazel. It seized control of our golems and unleashed them on the island. If I free you, will you help me stop Shyazel? Yeah, absolutely. I'll stop help you stop Shyazel. Yes, set me free and I'll help you stop Shyazel. Yeah, open nice the door. Choice. Just give me a moment. There, that should unlock the door. Let's when do it. you're ready, follow me. Yeah, I'll follow you, but I have to look for books first. This doesn't look like a promising. I don't care really about the bracers, because those don't sell for anything anyway, but if there's books in there, then we're talking. What do it look like? That's pretty good. Alright, let's see. Book in there? Nope. Jasmine tea recipe, already. I don't think I don't have enough to... Okay, yeah. I don't have enough to read that yet, but I would read a recipe if I could. No, I don't want those. I think a sorcerer would wear light armor, right? I didn't really follow any builds or guides or anything. I just thought we'd just kind of do this off the cuff. There you are. Free as a spring cricket. Free as a spring you cricket. Your word. We'll need each other out there. Of that, I'm certain. The name's Norianwe. Norianwe is your name. Durini. Pleased to make your acquaintance. So this is... Are they called Altmir, right? Like a high elf in other fantasy genres? And also in the genre too, I guess. Uh, so I guess this is maybe... Yeah. Uh, where are we headed? We're bound for a place called the Key Rights Gallery. Key Rights Gallery. First, I need to know you can defend yourself. Hurtling through the Orbis and falling flat on your ear left... Do we know what an Orbis is? Find a weapon and we'll work out the carpet. Like a gateway yeah. hole or something? Yeah, but I, have, I definitely have some questions. No, no, Renee. Of course. I can't promise total transparency, but I'll be <laughs> okay. as I can. Uh, I, I don't know why I can't promise total transparency. <laughs> That's a little bit concerning, but... Okay, uh, Keywords Gallery. Where is that place? The Keywords Gallery is an ancient substructure of Balfiera Island. Okay. It's long before my clan arrived. Clan Dereni. We know this. Uh, why is it called the Keywords Gallery? On account of all the doors. The gallery's full of ancient gates, each with some arcane connection to places in Tamriel and beyond. Once the gates came to life, rifts mm -hmm. opened. You fell out of one of them. The Daedra. Shyazel. So I think that was a... Shyazel is like the opening cutscene, maybe? But I feel like that was maybe an old cutscene. I don't know. Um, I don't know if... I, I think it came the last time I played this tutorial, because I played the earlier one um, when they like put you in Cold Harbor. This one feels like maybe something happened after later DLCs or their, their expansions. Uh, how'd you escape? I cast an incantation of the steed, oh, right. snatched you up, and fled as fast as my like you do. could carry me. I heard the Daedra cursing, followed by some kind of explosion, but I didn't look back. I hope the gallery is still standing. Yeah, well, I mean, okay. What are you doing here? Nothing irresponsible, if that's what you're asking. I'm a member of Clan Dorini's intelligence guild. The Cinderum. More scholar than spy, I assure you. I was conducting some <laughs> research in the gallery, then pop! You and that monster. So right? you work for, like, the CIA, I guess. I mean, okay, more scholar than spy. You're, you're like a dick, diplomat attaché, then, I guess? Why are you studying in this place? The gallery's always been a place of special interest for the guild. But we never quite cracked how it worked. Despite the dangers, this is our greatest breakthrough to date. The guild master will be ecstatic, provided we get it under control. We all got bosses. Um, all right. You said something about golems. What's going on here exactly? Would it frustrate you to hear that I have no idea? Yeah, I mean, kind of. We are cautious by nature, so the Isle of Bolfiera has many defenses. Magical stone guardians protect okay. many of our sacred sites. But somehow, this Daedra found a way to turn them against us. Can you describe the Daedra Shai Hazel? Ugh. If I recall my study I think Daedra are like a mixture a between, a huge I guess I thought about, but I guess it'd be like, kind of like devils or something? Magica, 
if it finds a way to consume the energies of the gallery, yeah, we will uh, be in very serious trouble. I can zoom out in third person. We can get a bit better picture of what we look like here. Um, but there's definitely, I think, there'd be some opportunities for customization happening. Um, cool. So we're gonna we're gonna kill a harvester. That seems bad. Let's go. Yeah, I mean, we definitely could use an outfit upgrade. Take a weapon. Uh, I think a staff seems. Healing staff or fire staff? I don't mean. Can I take both? Larger weapons like staves and great axes. Yeah, I'm taking that. You can I don't think I need two, or another any of these other price. weapons. Because the I'm going to be casting about. Uh, okay. Let's hook up this inferno staff first there we go cool i mean this looks like a wicked axe head or something up top there i don't think i could ever have a helm cutting up this 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 flow this guy's got here this this, this lettuce though kind of want to keep that prominent actually the head is uncovered Bracers. Oh, right. We gotta probably fight this dude, huh? What's up, this man? This is as good a place as any. Now, prepare yourself. Well, I conjure up a dance partner. Let's I think we have different ideas what dancing means. Oh. Strike the construct. Impressive. Well, top marks. Yep. Hit. Brilliant. Reckon this dude. Oh, I should say too, I'm also not good at this game. Draw strength, that. Protect yourself. Strike hard now. You're a natural. This guy wouldn't know it though. Rocket strike. Give it everything you've got. Now some bows will try to respond. Feels like I should. Yeah. Quickly, break uh -huh. free. Again, make ready. Prepare yourself. Now, now press your advantage with a heavy attack. Again, hold its attack. Swiftly now, interrupt it. Boom. When your we, enemy we got it, I think. Attack, good. Now destroy well, no. it. Oh, okay. That I can do. Level two, look out! What's he got on him? Greaves, huh? I guess I'll take those. Okay, so first level two, look at that. We're already way farther than I thought we'd be. Claim this stuff. I think we're gonna go, since reading is magic, I think we're gonna put every stat in magic. That also makes sense for a sorcerer. Got some other stuff coming my way too. Neat. Oh boy, yep. Know about that? Okay, what skill? I mean, Daedric summoning sounds pretty good. Summon the stable familiar. I think I've, just, I've seen these. This, I know I know play sorcerer, but I've seen they have like these pets. So I think we should get uh, some five skill. What am I? So traditional I'm an arcanist. Oh, this, this tells you what to do. I'll keep that on for the minute, but I don't. We might not keep that going forever. Uh, yep. Yeah. Cool. Uh, someone's an unstable familiar. Yeah, great. Now, are there any books in here? Doesn't appear to be. I know eventually we'll hit a library and get like a, like a stop. I can't decide if I'm going to read every book that's in. Like, if I go to a library, am I going to read every book in that library? Or am I it's only really books I found in the wild? I guess I'll cross that bridge when I get there. Uh, Nor, how do you say your name? Nor Winnie, I think. With moves like that, the Daedra doesn't stand a chance. Kind of bad. I'm gonna yes, summon a Daedra, I think, where right? Uh, where are we heading now? To reach the Keyride's gallery, we have to make it out of this ruin and across a wide field full of the golems I mentioned. With any luck, we'll be able to slip past them. But I'm not all that lucky, so I'm sorry in advance. Alright, 
Uh, well, Heather, next, what can we expect to encounter in the gallery? That's a great question. Well, it begins with the door, the first of many. The only way to access the gallery is through a mysterious gateway. Yeah. Once we pass through that initial door, we'll step into a huge vault. This is the part that worries me most. Me too. Why does it worry you, though? I believe Shiazel, the Daedric creature that's causing all this mischief, may have nested itself in there. So be prepared to fight. What am I not prepared to fight? Well, dealing with Shiazel, pacify the golems. I can't say anything with certainty, but ridding the world of an otherworldly abomination can't hurt, right? It's I mean, when you put it like that, I guess no, it can't the hurt. Golems should return to normal before too long. Alright, I don't want to practice combat again. I think we got that, but let's go. No, oh, I have to lead you outside. Um, okay. But Guy Fieri ruins. Oh. I don't have this place to myself, apparently. Oh, we forgot the tea back here. I see a berry. I don't want that necklace. I don't think you can sell that. One of the stray golems. Oh, we oh, might want to for, oh, oh, you're making me sneak. Okay, it's sneak. Is that okay? I think I want to disarm this bear trap. Seems. Oh! Sneaky, sneaky. Looking for books. I don't think he's ever got a book in an urn, but you never know. Homespun sash. I'll put that on for a minute. I don't want the iron gone stuff. Keeping it light here. Pretty good. Okay. okay. Oh nope. Still need to. Do we still need to sneak? No. This is okay. Almost there. Let's hurry. Oh, now I gotta run. But no, I, I don't run. I get, get slow and steady, right? But what if we run? We might miss a book. Got some ash, like you need it. <coughs> right. The entrance to the Key Rides Gallery should be east of here. Let's set out. Don't want that. Clear water, why not? Okay. Uh subjective wax. Change perspectives. Yeah, uh, let's play fire up that. Looking pretty resplendent though. Where now? Boy, Ash, why not? So these folks want to hurt me. So I'm just some of this guy. What do you think about that? He just kind of hangs out. Oh boy. Yep. Oh, you're healing me. That's neat. I mean, I guess I could fight all you folks, but it feels like that's kind of getting away. Cat v cat. I think I should look at the skill 2 tip. If I both hit 1 again, if it's a little familiar, does anything. I didn't really pay attention. Um. Oh yeah, activate a special ability. I should be doing that. Let's 
trying to scan. Oh, okay. Can I just spam that? I don't think I'm doing that right. Just probably activate special ability button, I'd figure out. That's it. I mean, that seems like that's probably it. Got more ash. I mean, I, I guess it's the ash would technically be like cremains, I suppose. Doesn't feel great. The Kyrites gallery is in here. Let's head inside. Gallery foyer. See, I must, I must read that when it was that tooltip or whatever when it was, went by so fast. It's almost like to invite you to skip all the lore. She has been meant. Oh my God, it's good tea brewing. Well, this is upsetting. No, lay it on me. What's going on? Jeffers bones. <sighs> Who's Jeffers? <laughs> Created by the portals you came through. Uh, must have cracked this sky shard. Without a functioning sky shard, this gate remains locked, and there's no way for us to proceed. Language. Damn. Is there any way to fix it? Unless you have a set of enchanting tools and a working knowledge of meteoric empowerment theory. No, there's nothing for it. We need to find a replacement. Okay, where can we find a replacement sky shard? I saw one in a vault just south of here a few days ago. But it was flanked by one of the island's more powerful golems. Normally, I'd say we should search for another option, but given the circumstances, yeah, I'm not, I'm not afraid of any golem. All right, let's find that sky shard. Can I ask you something? Yeah, I got, I got some questions. Of course. Who's Jeffer? What do you say? Long, oh, what's well, not an option? What are sky shards exactly? Giant clusters of meteoric glass. They fall from Aetherius. Charged with raw and very serious. I bet that's like a. Mages use sky shards in all kinds of rituals. I should know this. That's probably like a moon or a sun, right? We try to use them as power source. Yeah, for the golems, probably, right? Uh, what kind of golem did you see near the sky shard? It's a monstrous sentinel called a gargoyle. Mm. I've never seen one fight, but by all accounts, they are far more powerful than the golems. Oh, so like a spot. boss. We're gonna fight a boss. Cool. Well, that's all information I require, apparently. Uh. That's not. I'm supposed to go towards the white bit. Acquired a sky shot below, so I'm going back this way. I didn't see any potential book areas. See, okay, you made that noise. All right. Do you see that vault to the south? The sky shot is there. Oh, so that's a good. Joe Tas Tasraji is a good Kajit name too. I wonder if I'm am I getting experience for fighting these things, or is this like a like a milestone mocked area? I wonder. I'm curious. I'm gonna look actually. Uh, so if I look at C, I'm at 2:56. If I fight one of more of these folks, what if that increase? I told you it was gonna be a glacially slow uh, cruise through. <laughs> Oh, this girl's online. This is part of that. Take that. Uh. No, I'm getting experience. I guess you could just stay in the starting area until you get to, like, I don't know, a level with a... I mean, but I think the whole game skew uh, goes to your level, so... I mean, like, it scales to wherever you are, so you could just spend the entire time up to level 50 in here. Um, that'd be a stream. Uh, I don't know how long that'll take. Probably a long time. There I don't want... Oops. The sky shot. I took a shield I didn't need. It looks like a gargoyle. Get out of the way, 
down. Counter and kill. Working on it. I feel like I showed no skill. See, do I have any skill points? I don't, so. Oh, maybe I'll get one here. What? Did you just absorb the energy of that shard? Incredible. Not quite what I intended, but I didn't work with this. Let's, uh, let's head back to the gate. Sure, let's do it. No books over here though. Peter Ring. Take the natural water. I know books are coming. They're on the horizon. I can feel it. Water here. It's the same statue. Okay. Don't want that sash. Don't thank you. Oh, whoops. I don't think you can... I think you can't, like, craft with those, right? And you can't sell it, I don't think so. Not bone though, that's for some money. Go tonic, go some tonic. I'm gonna make a tonic for sure. Repair the gate. All right. Moment of truth. Focus on the sky. Ha! Oops. You did it. Let's speak for a moment. I didn't mean to interrupt you there. Kinda got ahead of it. I'm afraid we've reached the release. Oh really? Of it. The Daedric creature responsible for all these portals waits just beyond that gate. If you have any other preparations to make, make them now. Do you have any advice how to slay this thing? Again, I'm just a scholar. Okay. But I'd encourage you to remember what we practiced before. You called Even yourself like a sp you probably for spy agency. And exploit any opening the creature gives you. Okay. Let's go fight this golem. That'll be only like clans making, right? Oh no, this is uh, not going, this is the Daedra. Right. A harvester, apparently. My little familiar is going to take you on, bud. Okay, we know he's going to hit you. Only I will remain. Oh, shouldn't get in the red, that seems bad. Feast seems bad. I should destroy that. Oh yeah, I think I've got an add-on tell me to do that. I think it's probably the base game. I just downloaded whatever add-ons or website told me to. Which seems like not the best for security standpoint, but it seems like it worked out. You did it. We've got an heirloom necklace. A slight warmth radiates from this family trinket. Neat. Let's put that necklace on. Pretty good. Alright, so getting this guy. I bet this, this gallery gonna have any books? Oh, here's a bookcases. Here we go. Bookshelf. Oh boy. <laughs> Let's read it. The songs of Pel 
Pelennial, Volume 4. Well, I guess we're getting into the series a little late. On his deeds. Editor's note, Volumes 1 through 6 are taken from the so-called Rimmon Manuscript, located in the Imperial Library. It is a transcription of older fragments collected by unknown scholar of the early Second Era. Beyond this, little is known of the original sources of these fragments, some of which appear to be from the same period, perhaps even from the same manuscript. But, as no scholarly consensus yet exists on dating these six fragments, no opinions will be offered here. This feels very much like an academic after my own heart. Thank you. Uh, Pelennial? Pelennial. Uh, oh, so that's like, um, that would be the transcription, I guess, of a lost language. Uh, drove the sorcerer armies past the Nibbin, claiming all the eastern lands for the rebellion of the Paravania. And Kine, I think it's Kine, because that's going to pop up a lot, I think, in the lore. Had to send her rain to wash the blood from the villages and forts that lo no longer flew alien banners. It's like, alien, it's like an ancient um, people. For the armies of men need to make camps for them as they went forward. Uh, slight lacuna in the narrative here. And he broke the doors open for the prisoners of the Vatache with the slave queen that doesn't sound good. With the slave queen following flying um Mordahas above them, and men called her Ash El Ash El Ash for the first time. He entered the gate at redacted to win back the hands of the thousand strong of Sedor, a tribe unknown but famous in those days. So is the tribe I know famous in Okay, so this is like we like where we have like mycenary mycenary Greek happening, right? So somebody writing about earlier times, okay. Uh but it's like a history of a time that maybe it exists before written history, historical record. Which the Iliots has stolen in the night, two thousand hands that brought back in a wagon made of demon bone. It's pretty metal, uh whose wheels trailed the sound of women when ill at heart. Text lost. And after the first pogrom, which uh, oh, it probably means what it means in our in our context, which is not great, which consolidated northern holdings for the men of Keith Kareth, he stood with white hair gone brown with elf blood at the bridge of Heldon, where Perry's falconers had sent for the Nords. And they, looking at him, said that Shore had returned, but he spat at their feet, profaning that name. He led them anyway into the hearts of the hinterland west to drive the aliens inward, towards the Tower of White Gold, which I think is like a it's a location, like a dungeon or trial or something, I think, in the game. A slow, retreating circle that could not understand the power of man's sudden liberty, and what fear idea that brought. His mace crushed the thunder mocks that Mali sent us harriers on the rebellion's long march back south and east, and carries, oh boy, Morta house breath of kind to Zwadis, the clever cutting man, uh, Neddy, Ned, with a kept to name, for healing when the bull had fallen to a volley of bird beaks. And of course, at the Council of Skiffs, of, of course at the Council of Skiffs, where all the Paravania's armies and all the Nords shook with fear at the storming of the white gold, so much that the Al Esh herself counseled delay. A plenial grew furious and made names of Umaro and made names of what cowards he thought saw he saw he thought he saw around him and then made for the tower by himself for plenial I'm, I gotta figure out the consensus to say that name often acted without thought okay uh, so this is a song great um, there's a lot of these bookshelves so huh? I'm gonna read one more from these shelves I can't spend all day on bookshelves even though I said that's what we're gonna do I'd rather get out there and find some books in the wild um, but let's see what's on this shelf. Tribes of the Blackwood, Gideon and the Border, by Emmanuel Beth Herent, the Wayfarer Society of Wayrest. So Blackwood's a zone um, in uh, the game now. I think it, with the it's kind of an expansion, and I think Wayrest is a main city too, if I remember correctly. After my long and perilous excursion to Merkmire, I thought it best to return home to High Rock for some well-deserved rest. I think Merkmire is where the Argonians hang out, and High Rock is Bretons, I think. But it seemed the Eight had other plans, which are like the Pantheon, right? Sales of my first book, The Tribes of Merkmire, far exceeded expectations. A happy dilemma for any researcher. Yeah, you're telling me. Um, 
so I so to fulfill the newfound demand, I bid my caravan farewell at Trans Nebin and set out east toward Gideon. For those readers who've never been there, Gideon is a paradoxical mixture of countless cultures, a confusing mishmash of alien architecture, architecture, imperial history, Koth Ringi folklore, and Argonian, Argonian tradition. I think the Imperials in this game are like kind of modeled after the uh, Roman Imperial Empire, I think. Um, that's what it feels like to me, at least. They all like have, have, seem like Romanians. Oh, no, I mean, Roman sound uh, names um, and seem to have like sort of steeped in that. Um, I don't know what Cothringi is. And Argonians are like, are like uh, sort of uh, lizard folk, I guess, um, from the swamps, right? Despite its rich cosmopolitan history, present-day Gideon is propelled people mostly by Argonians. Unlike their cousins to the south, whom I grew to cherish like families, the Argonians of Blackwood both bear the scars and reap the benefits of long exposure to Cyrodiil. They speak Cy Cyrodiilic with greater precision, conduct business with more subtlety, and navigate foreign traditions with greater success. This often comes at the cost of ancient traditions and pure strange of Argonian philosophy. The first time I heard Agonian openly dismiss the primacy of the Hist, which is like I think like the the ancestral spirit slash god, I think like they maybe like Angie connects all Agonian life or all life maybe. Uh, I was astonished, but over time I come to understand that the tribes of Blackwood are no less complex. In many ways, they are far more complicated. So we have, this is like almost like ethnography, I guess. Agonians on the border with Greater Tamriel absorb the lion's share of foreign dep depredations. Okay. Wars, famines, enslavement, environmental exploitation, and so on. Border Argonians have borne it all. As a result, all the friendships I struck with local Saxlil uh, were hard earned. Most Merkmire Argonians regard foreigners with a bemused, almost comic disinterest. Blackwood Argonians, however, view most of the siders with a skepticism that borders on the cynical. A local leader named Keshu has made great strides towards integrating her people into wider Tamarillic society. I pray that endeavor leads to greater cooperation, not greater distrust. So I'm wondering if all these books are going to be kind of around the same length here. Um, I don't think we're going to see Moby Dick rendered in this game, although that would be a daring choice that would support uh, Bethesda for, um, or is any Max who is responsible for developing this for uh, seeking out their own white whale for ESO, I guess. Um, you know, I think this will be playing on bookcases in the future. We'll leave it there for right now. Um, by all the stars. Which, you know. Look at the central column. I, I do make no this solemn promise, though. If I ever find a book in the wild, we'll read every Let's single one. Okay. Uh, so I interrupted you. I guess we're going to go into the gallery. Yeah, because we'll be here so long, which is probably the promise of it, but. Um, yeah, I guess I'm backing that off slightly. Most of the books. Um, most of the books in the bookshelves, but all the books that we see hanging out um, in the world outside of a bookshelf. We will entertain bookshelves from time to time. Got some lockpicks. Lockpicks. Some ash. Alright. What's in this? No. Big big padlock. This Don't go in there. I mean, if you're gonna talk to me, don't run away. Now I see why we never managed to oh, right! That power comes from this, arcane this is why I get to go whatever zone I choose. With the the world is my proverbial oyster. These gates can finally reopen. Perhaps not all of them at first, but enough to reach most of Tamriel. The question so, for you, I suppose, is where to first? I think she's gonna give me like a quick synap uh, discussion of each region. I think this includes what all the DLC. I, I did subscribe to ESL Plus for this, uh, for the show. So we have like I think all the DLC that included with that. Um, yeah, let's talk. Can you believe this? Just look around. With this arcane helix exposed, the chamber is positively crackling. I mean, I wouldn't say crackling, but the you know. The gallery has come to life, and I finally think I know why. What do you mean? Why did it come to life? Because of you, matters in Tamriel are bleak. War rages in Cyrodiil. Yeah. Daedric princes conspire. Dragons ride the winds of elsewhere. 
The second era needs a savior. I don't know if I will. Okay, don't don't put that on me. I don't want to be a savior. I just want to read some books. What do you think the Adamantian Tower is? Okay, what do you think I should do next? Lay it on me. The Keyrites Gallery opened doors to every corner, corner of Tamriel. Of Tamriel. Places I suspect that desperately okay. need a hero. So this is this where I get to choose my make. adventure. You oh, I got a skill point though. That's gonna be I'm useful. Sure May the stars protect you. Yeah, I hope so. Oh, we got, oh, we got some more quest things. What Normally, I think most players would be like, okay, I'm good, I'm gonna go on, but that's not the game we're playing here. Let's uh, let's get some more information here. Do you plan to use one? Of the yeah, where are you gonna go? Are you plan to use one of these doors as well? What me? No, I've got work to okay. do. The Cinderella will want every bit of this place searched and studied. Oh, after you took care of the golems, so all everything's all good, huh? Adventure abroad sounds all okay. good, but my place is here. Do you really think fate brought me here? Well, fate's sort of a clumsy way to put it. No offense. Okay. Honestly, I don't have the terminology. But I believe there was intention here. Something, whether it be the stars, the gallery, or the tower itself, placed you here for a reason. How is that not? I guess you 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 sing this different from fate. Okay, and Shehizel, what brought it here? Perhaps it followed you to prevent you from reaching your. Well, destiny sounds a bit too grandiose. <laughs> Let's just say to stop you from reaching your potential. Then again, maybe the power of this place brought you here to stop Shyazel. You know, I do appreciate the fact that this place, this character is supposed to be a scholar and is uh, uh, sort of perplexed by definitions of things. Right? We spend some time defining what state, what fate means, or destiny is. That feels uh, feels pretty, pretty pretty accurate. I guess we'll never know. Probably not. But what's a life without unanswered questions, right? Absolutely. Boring, That'd be boring. Do you think you're ever unravel the mysteries of this place? Ha! Huh. An elf can hope. Answering that question will probably keep me occupied for the next hundred years. Is the helix connected to the adamantine tower? How does it perceive distant corners of Tamriel? I may never understand it, but I'll do my best. That's all we can ask for. Any thoughts on where I should go? It is a bit yeah, kinda. It is a bit overwhelming. The whole of Tamriel is stretched out before you. We could start with the political considerations. Three great alliances vie for control of. Oh, Sanctuary. that's right. Does the fate of the Pact, Covenant, or Dominion interest you? So I think yeah, there's three different warring factions, and each of the races in this game are like kind of subscribed to one of those. Uh, well, I want to travel to Blast territory. I don't want to. I don't want to mess around with that. It feels. Um, I'd rather think about uh things are than that. So no, I'd like to travel outside the borders of the three alliances. I don't blame you. Interprovincial intrigue is the basis yeah. of my whole profession. And even I find it tiresome after a while. I suppose that widens the map a bit. Where else can I find adventure? Well, as I said before, threats to Tamriel have grown like weeds practically everywhere. Would you prefer to spend time among my elven kin, the Khajiit of elsewhere, or men of the north and south? What can you tell me about uh, the elves? If you take the gate to Vardenfell, you can meet the Dark Elves, and maybe even the God King, Vivek. You could also travel south to Somerset Isle, our ancestral home and the primary seat of power for the High Elves. Okay, is... what's going on in Vardenfell? Squeezing information out of the Dark Elves is delicate business. To be honest, we know far less about what's going on in Morrowind than we should. I can tell you that Vivek put out a summons for heroes recently. That's worrying. Uh, okay, what about these realms of men you mentioned? Certainly. One of these gates up here to go to Western Skyrim. Okay. A mythical kingdom of Nords led by King Svargrim. The other leads to Blackwood, at the southern tip of Cyrodiil. Imperial Remnant. Which we read about. We know about the tribes of Blackwood now. Well, the Argonians, at least. What's going on in Blackwood? Our agents are investigating a handful of strange Daedric structures hidden away in the swamps near Gideon and Leowin. I honestly couldn't tell you how they got there. But the presence of Daedric anything in Tamriel is always cause for concern. Okay, what about elsewhere? According to our spies, the land of the Catfolk is in sorry shape. Imperial holdouts sit upon the throne and a rage of dragons spilled out of the halls of Colossus, burning everything in their path. If it's adventure you seek, you'll find it there. Um, I think I'm good. Because you're just going to repeat these things over and over again, so I figure it out. Let's figure it out. Oh, I gotta level up. Claim my rewards now. Um, get a crown fortifying meal, it's pretty good. But then stamina, and really what I care about is the skill point. 
Um, what's that do? Call down lightning. That sounds pretty good. But I could also do this destruction staff. I think I should get these going first. Yeah, let's get. What? I mean, I don't. Oh, I get Daedric Curse. I can do that too. I think I want to get because I think I'll level up these things consistently. I'll get Mage's Fury. Oh, I got one more. Nice. Um, let's get this Crystal Shard too. Get on there. Now I have two more attacks. Hooray! Okay. Um, what is this one? High Isle. I don't know if it's going to transfer there or not. I feel... We got High Isle. That's probably what the Alliance thing is in to ask about. That I know. Is, I've done this one. That's the Alliance thing. Blink Rock. I think that's also like the three the three old starting areas, I think, of those. That's the Dark Elves area she was talking about. I don't think I've ever done that one. I've done some of the newer expansions. Skyrim, yep. Somerset Isle. Don't know what that's about. Elsewhere, that's the Catfolk with the Dragons, which I think just had an event. And Blackwood. Oh, there's one more. No, that's where we started. There's not any up here, are there? Um, whoa, what's this? Oh, it's fine, fell. I kind of lean towards the Black Rock, not Black Rock, Blackwood. I've played that a little bit, but I know there's some books in there I have not read. So, was that this one? Yeah. Seems this portal leads to Blackwood on the southern border of Cyrodiil. I read an intelligence report about a series of high-profile murders with links to the region. Daedric mischief, too. Okay. A warrior like you could do some real good there. <laughs> All right. Let's travel to Blackwood. So the Gates of Oblivion storyline. Oh, we got a cutscene. I knew I felt something strange, like glass shattering in the distance. Murdered, and so close to the city gates. Keep your voice down. Do you want to start a panic? Until we know more, I'm not prepared to engage in an all-out war with the Dark Brother. Oh boy. Too many times, dry skins have come to our swamps in an attempt to claim them. These Imperials seemed no different. I had a vision of a shadowy figure. It was a robed and hooded cultist. It was brief and powerful. Over in a moment. But the figure felt... Oh boy. Now who are these cultists? And how well do you trust your masters in Leowin? So it's interesting what that is communicating, right? You kind of get the whole snapshot of the story here. We got cultists, there's a murder happening, Daedra, that big dude looking over the mountains or whatever there. He seems, seems like bad news. I don't think I've finished this one. But I'm excited to now. Oh yeah, it's stored down here. Great Nibbin River and extending into the bogs of Argonian homeland. Blackwood serves as the maritime gate. Oh. You there. The Ivory Brigade has need of you. The Ivory Brigade has need of you. All right. Brigand, Brigandine Antonius. So this must be like the Imperial crew. Try to get a look at you. All right. What you got? You look like you've got your wits about you. Care to make a bit of extra gold working for Leowin's Ivory Brigade? Sure. I've been asked by my captain to find someone who can handle themselves. We need help with a delicate situation. I think of a delicate type of individual. Let's see what we got. What's the situation? Deadly secrets. Assassins. Murder. Now apparently a counselor has gone missing. Between the war, bandits, cultists, the Ivory Brigade is like the Nord that tries to plug a leaking cask of mead, only to realize that, that doesn't joke doesn't feel necessary. Um, okay, what do you need me to do? Talk to my commander, Captain Rian Leor. Rian Leor. You can find him just outside the city gates, trying to appease some of the nobles. Tell him I sent you, and he'll put you right to work. I'm sure. So I think what I've noticed about a lot of these quests here, I'm going to say I'm going to go speak to Captain Rian Lee or it's going to say, okay, can you go do that? It's going to be an opportunity to ask more questions, I think, right? Nope. Can I talk to him again? 
Captain nope. Reed okay, I take it all back. That's who you're looking for. I thought maybe he was going to tell me about the Ivory Brigade, but maybe it's too soon for that. Oh, a Sky Shard. Didn't get that. Oh, I should open my equipment box too. Oh, quick slots. This is junk. We can sell that. That's junk. We can sell that. It's not bones with the gold. Okay. Is that better what I've got? Oh, I don't have the unlock yet. Well, we'll just sell that anyway. Not too. What's in here? I guess we'll take all of it. This is better than what I have. Include that. Okay. Well. Get the sky shot though. Oh wait, she could unlock this way shrine too. Yeah, but I'm just gonna take the butterfly apart apparently. Sorry, bud. Oh, that's a player, like the house you can buy. Oh, yeah, I'm ready for you. Give me. Lightning Town and that. I think I should do more. Is that damage over time? I should. Alright. Let's see here. What does that do? Yeah, I mean, so it's not damage over time, it's instant. But you can blow it up. Okay. Well. We'll see how long. Keep that on the bar. Oh, those great bears not gonna see what's coming. Good okay, bud. Oh. I feel like that'd be more useful with more people, maybe. More enemies to fight. Seems ominous. Okay. Okay, I just need to get that way shrine so I can go back there. Get this butterfly. can get some craft and stuff get some wood from stone white stone in it. cool all right where am I going I'm going down this way I'll take this dragonfly too. What is this? Soil tapestry threads. Oh, it's for. I've never done any of these. I've never done any antiquity scrying yet, but I know that's the thing you can do. Maybe. Maybe it's something we'll get into. It seems like a thing that a person who likes to read books would do go and find a bunch of antiquities. Um, but it also feels, yeah. Let's see, what next? Should we go do this delve first? No, let's get, let's go talk to this dude. Because maybe he'll send us back towards that delve. Oh, 
Did I just cruise past him? No, I didn't. He's up here. You have my word. If the counselor is in Leowin or the surrounding countryside, the Ivory Brigade will find her. Who are these folks? Alright, Captain Rian. I forgot his name. Not now, citizen. Can't you see I have my hands full at the moment? I'm sure a guard. That's a pretty good haircut you got there, my man. Uh, I heard you're looking for help. Brigadine Antonia sent me. <laughs> Why I just did say so. so. Leowin's problems are legion, and now the Wood Elf Archer's predictions seem to be coming true. Damn these old Imperial secrets. Counselor Jiric has disappeared. And the Ivory Brigade is already spread too thin for my liking. Okay. Tell me about this Wood Elf Archer and his Imperial Secrets. The Wood Elf, Evely Sharp Arrow. She brought news that the Dark Brotherhood was targeting members okay. of the Elder Council. All because of some secret of the Longhouse Emperors. We took her warning seriously, but Jirig refused Brigadine protection. Okay. You think the Dark Brotherhood harmed Counselor Jirig? With that guild of assassins, I'm not sure what to think. But Jiric is missing, and I don't have enough brigadines at the okay. ready to conduct the proper, proper search. search. You look capable. So, care to earn some gold and help us determine the counselor's fate? Yeah, man. I'll help you find counselor's Jiric. Here. Oh, a bunch of questions now. The These are places Jiric visits during her daily routine. If something befell her, it happened somewhere along this path. Meanwhile, I have Everly Sharp Arrow checking locations in the city. She was very eager to help. Okay, well, I got some information here. What can you tell me about this Councilor Jiric? Councilor Jiric was a member of the Imperial Elder Council, back when we still had an empire. Now her title is mostly ceremonial. But she continues to assist the Legates by serving as an intermediary with the local nobility. The legates? Question mark? Since the collapse of the Empire and the dissolution of the Elder Council, Leowin has become an independent city state. Countess Caro sits on the throne, but the Chamber of Legates governs the city. You have a Countess and the Legates, but you have the Countess, but the Legates are in charge. A very confusing state of affairs. I suppose the Countess is technically the highest authority in Leowin, but she leaves the administration of the city to the Chamber of Legates. Leviticus, another former council elder, leads this august body, along with Tabezico and Amhalu. So Leviticus sounds like an imperial. Tabezico and Amhalu, I think, are Argonians? Uh, tell me about these locations, though. Councillor Jiric is a creature of habit. Her daily routine is to stroll along the river and stop to read near a cave across the way. Stop to read? While Let's Sharp go check out that cave. And spots the councillor frequents in the city. You should check these locations. Absolutely. Pie books there. Tell me about the situation here in Leowin. On paper, Countess Caro rules Leowin. But in practice, the Chamber of Legates governs the city. Legates Tabezako and Amhalu. And Councillor Leviticus. They handle day-to-day -day tasks. Okay. Me? I'm commander of the Ivory Brigade. Leowin's militia. You mentioned your shoulders were stre you sh sh soldiers were stretched too thin. Indeed. Since the fall of the Empire, the Ivory Brigade had to redouble its efforts to replace the Imperial Legions. We maintain active defenses in the north to keep the ongoing war at bay. But we have our hands full with refugees, bandits, and such. Ongoing uh, war? The three banners war. Oh, right. The Let the alliances fight alliance over the folks. throne as long as they leave us in peace. For sure, ma'am. I just wish I had more soldiers to spare for this new threat. Yeah. Sharp Arrow Who is this Evely Sharp Arrow? Sharp Arrow. Evely Sharp Arrow is an adventurer from Valen. Crossing his arms. Okay. Though I get the sense she's relatively new at the job. She recently arrived with news of a threat against the former members of the Imperial Elder Council. I was skeptical at first, but now. Yeah. What did Evely say about this threat? She told us that the late Emperor Leovic Stewart was murdered by the Dark Brotherhood. Apparently, it pertains to some secret of the Longhouse Emperor. I bet we're gonna figure out who these Longhouse Emperors details are. She discussed with Counselor Leviticus. Everly found a number of documents pertaining to this secret. One of these contained a list of names. 
the steward and some of the councilors. Oh, some of from Groth, I mean. She assumed that since the steward had already been killed, the rest of the list might be next. All right, thanks, bud. Guess I could talk to you folks in a second. Uh, before we do, I think we'll take a quick break. I'll be back uh, here in about two minutes or so, and we'll talk to more, some more folks and maybe find a book to read. So, uh, yeah, I'll be right back. Okay, let's get back into this. We have some folks to talk to. Vincentius Cassit Vincentius Cassitorius. I watched the counselor head off this morning, the same as every other day. She keeps to a regular schedule. That's why I came to Captain Rianne straight away when she failed to show okay. up for a meeting with these nobles. You know, I see what, I hear what you're saying, uh, Vincius, but I'm really just marveling at those mutton chops you've got. Those are pretty good. Um, all right, Lavane Gilram, Gilram. I'm not sure how I feel about the Ivory Brigade employing mercenaries. We'll call myself a mercenary. If you can help find I guess I'm doing this for money, so that's not, that's not mercenary Do work. Everything you can. The counselor, she's a good person. Okay. What about you, uh, Gratia Faust Faustius? Hiring a common. Okay. Sensor. All right. I thought Captain Rianne and his Ivory Brigade were better than that. That's a little rude. Goodbye. Okay. Well. Captain, are you really trusting oh. the fate of Councillor Jirik to this, this outsider? Oh, why didn't Councillor Jirik heed your warnings? If the Ivory Brigade requires mercenaries to do their job, perhaps Leowen needs different protectors. All that I thought was kind of rude, but you know, you know what? I should probably get the uh, way shrine inside Leowen. There's going to be a thousand quests that are going to pop up here, and I'll get to those after I do this main one, I think. Because I don't want to overwhelm the quest channel too much just yet. Oh, I have a horse I should be using. I'll get into that. But for right now, maybe let's first go around. Running feels good. Where is this? Why can't I find portal? 
Oh, because I haven't discovered it yet. There it is, it's this way. Cool. Now I can go back to lay whenever I feel like it. And there's a lot of stuff here. I'll get to these, but for right now. A fascinating application of the technique. Steel. Yeah, okay, I don't need to know about steel. I'm not gonna steal. I mean not right now. Um which way are we going? We need to go Oh. Why should we gone through the city? You know what, let's see what's going to stealth. I know I just said we'd get to that, but it's right here. And there's a quest for it, so. Nope. Oh. Alright, I'm just gonna. What's, oh, you know what? I I, over here and help me? I will, but I see there's a book next to you. So, oh boy, uh, I'll talk to you first. But then I'm gonna read this book. You look like a hardy soul, unconcerned with the prospect of death by trick, trap, or misadventure. How do you feel about a lot of scholars in this game? From well, I guess a little I'd like the five Island? people I've met. Oh, two of them been scholars. Gideon under the untold cavern. Um, yeah, I guess I can swim. Tell what you need. Have you heard of Phalevon the Magnificent? Who hasn't? He was a famous Nibonese Minotaur hunter. So Nibonese is how we say that. But his final resting place was lost to time. After years of searching, I think I finally found the site of Phalevon's mausoleum. I like that there's a specific enough position as a Minotaur hunter. Like, this is any hunter. I exclusively hunt Minotaurs. Uh, this guy does sound rather magnificent. Okay. Why well, do you need my help? I hope to recover proof that this is Phalevon's tomb. His armor, helm, and sword would do nicely, but I didn't get far before I found the cavern overrun with goblins and minotaurs, and parts of it are flooded. I'll pay you well to help me. Yeah, I mean, sure. I'll help you search the cavern. No one in Leowin realizes that Undertow Cavern is the final resting place of a great hero. Okay. Let me secure my belongings, and I'll meet you inside. Time to grab the bull by the horns and wade right in. <laughs> is that that's a minotaur joke, right? Okay. Uh. Why do you think this is where Phalevon is buried? Oh I found boy. accounts of Phalevon's burial in a shining mausoleum on a hill outside Leowin. He was laid to rest with his arms and armor, relics of his many victories. This is the place, but goblins infest the caverns, and minotaurs too. I'm curious about these relics we're after. You would be, I suppose. What is well, that? Okay. Phalevon the Magnificent had a golden helm. He wore armor of impervious mail. And he wielded a sword of exceptional <laughs> Those all sound pretty good. Uh, he said Phelan had a really sharp sword. How Phelan sharp was it? The sword was so sharp, it was said to be able to cut the air itself. No, that isn't right. I suppose any sword will cut air. Ah, or that's it. Can this air be one cut? could cut through armor like air. Ah. That's what I was told. Okay, cool. Um, time about Phelan's armor. The sword say that Phalevon had the most beautiful male, impervious to sword, arrow, and spear. We don't know much about armor of his era, but he was known as the Magnificent. I can only surmise his armor was quite splendid. I have a feeling this quest is going to be about um, lowering your expectations about whoever this person was, right? I feel like that's where this writing is taking us. Uh, what can you tell me about Phalevon's helm? As I understand it, the helm was a gift from the Lord of Leowin in gratitude for Phalevon's many heroic deeds in Blackwood. The stories say it was fashioned in the shape of a roaring dragon's face. That sounds pretty sick. Is it possible the details have been exaggerated over time? Well, it has been many hundreds of years. Yeah. I suppose Phalevon's arms and armor might not be much to look at now. But in any condition, they would be of sure. immense historical value. I simply know it. You mentioned goblins and minotaurs. I suppose goblins aren't much of a surprise. 
They infest many caves in this region, although I had hoped I wouldn't run into any. The Minotaurs I didn't expect. None have been seen so close to Leowin in centuries. So where did these Minotaurs come from? That's the very question I was wondering about. Yeah. Wherever they came from, these Minotaurs seem very hostile. Enraged, even. I've heard all kinds of fighting inside. I think they're angry at the goblins. Do Minotaurs and goblins get along? I don't see a shining mausoleum here. That's because it was swallowed by the earth. Oh. One night, okay. 700 years ago, people living nearby heard a terrible sound. When they came to look in the morning, they found that the whole mausoleum had fallen into the caves underneath the hill. Why did the Nibonese build the mausoleum here? Because the caves Don't this get exhausted with me, Amalia Vast Vastaton. The mausoleum was a monument to his victory, as well as his tomb. Until Undertow Cavern swallowed okay. up anyway. Cool, thanks. Oh, just gonna sit back. Wait, well, I'm just read this book. Legend of... Now, is this Veyond or Beyond? Okay. Legend of Beyond. Guide and ghost story by Eleni... El Elneli uh, Duliri. Deep within the, those crumbling walls, where memories are said to speak and the dead mingle with the living, was a treasure unlike any other. Its origins are unknown, but those brave enough to venture in the ruins of Viand, by Viand, right? Viand, have brought back the words that were spoken to him by those long who died long ago. This feels like the introduction of a D and D campaign. Most notably, the ghost of a young adventurer who battled monsters and night creatures through the halls in search of a cure for his ailing mother's sickness. I don't know. I mean, night monsters and night creatures feels redundant because both those things seem like monsters. He can be seen fighting his enemies in a corridor buried beneath the ground. Each time he staggers under the assault, he talks to his mother as if he can hear her voice. There are moments where he speaks to her as if to reassure her that he's coming back. By the other time, tears can be seen on his face, where he tries to pluck your hair, excuse me, angry spirit. In a different part of the ruin, children can be heard playing among the rocks. A blacksmith's hammer can be heard, but only on nights when stars hide behind clouds. Rarer still, during storm, storms, a forest chanting and speaking an unknown language can be heard just before thunder rumbles throughout the cracks in the walls. A lot of things can be heard here. What else, else beyond holes, one thing is clear. And now it gives up its and now it gives its dead and it gives up neither its dead nor its secrets quietly. So yeah, a lot of things can be heard. Okay. Don't know where it is, but maybe we'll find that in the future. Don't mind me, just gonna take a look what's in your backpack here. Oh nothing. Okay. Let's go check out this delve. Goblins are a bundle of contradictions. Bundle contradictions. Quarrelsome but dangerous in packs. Dim witted but deviously cunning. Prone to fits of screeching but remarkably quiet when stalking their prey. I must confess of gr uh, grudging admiration. Scholar. Okay. Well, got at least most got most of it. Oh, you're here with me? Neat. Okay. Let's. Do goblins got any books? Or is there going to be any sort of. Uh, Mantar books in here? See, goblins and Mantar both. Just the sort of place goblins love. Darksome, dank, and foul. Don't want to get by that. Okay. I mean, I guess we'll get... Maybe we'll have a fishing expedition with all these bug parts we're getting. Uh, go this way. No. Okay. I guess could be scattered or sunken. Didn't mean or to talk to you, but now we're talking. Got to talk. The, the people of Leowin buried him with great honor, befitting his magnificence. But that was before the ground swallowed his mausoleum. What? Did we talk about this? why you think it was? I found accounts of Faelavon. Yeah, we did. We did talk about this. Okay. Up. Sorry not to cut you off, but we discussed that already. I get this barrel. Isinglass, which I think is like a. Really somehow to fish, I think. Alright. This guy, though, we can zap him.
put another mana here. Alright. Keep on. Keep it on. One more goblins. No, let's see if I think. Seems like it means business. Well, seems fire seems dangerous down here. Let's go, let's go try and pass you, my man. Oh, cool. Oh, didn't mean to take a torch bug, but we got the magnificent sword. Picture this sword cleaving savage minotaurs. A pity it's dull beyond use now. We, we, we might want to think that we're, we're savage there. So this guy, I mean, this minotaur does look pretty fierce, but... Greece. Okay. Lovely decorations. Do I want to fight these goblins and these pantars together? I think I do. Oh. Hi, bud. I gotta fight this one again. There's a shaman. Let's get some homespun britches. Take this magicka. Got okay, points. The skill is what I'm after. I think I could get in case. I think I want to get this destruction staff going though. Let's get four shock. This guy's going to get it. Oh, I shouldn't get hit by that. Oh, we got a hat now. Does that cover up? It does cover up our. I'll leave it on for a second, but it does, it does come up our awesome hair. Okay. Um. Any books in here? Got some fish. Okay. 
Gold filigree and silver inlay still gleam in this otherwise broken and useless armor. Well, his armor shone by the light of moons or sun. It's just too bad Minotaurs are enraged by shiny objects. Well, okay. All Minot possessions okay. could be. Why are Minotaurs enraged by shiny objects? It feels. I don't know. I saw some pork in the ground. I gotta get my ground pork. Okay. It's in. No, oh, more torch bug. What's in the sack? Lotus. Neat. Where are we going? We're going back to the way. Apples here. More goblins. We need to get his helm. What was his helm? Golden helm? Magnificent helm. This battered helm has a huge cleft in it, sir. Well, it's probably not Imagine good. Imagine how many times this helm saved the heroic Thalavon's head. Except that last time, obviously. I feel like I put that ring on. Would you spell? I don't have a ring on yet. Magic yeah, that seems good. Oh, and these pants, too. Lockpick seems good. Book stack. Okay, here we go. End of the journey. It was during the time of great despair when St. Veloth and his people reached the land of Residen. For untold weeks, they had climbed a mighty range of mountains under Veloth's leadership. Many among the Chimer considered this path to be folly, but they were driven by Veloth's unyielding certainty and commitment. They came upon a great pass, a deep scar in the mountain covered in ice and snow. Veloth drove them onward, chasing a vision that had come to him in a dream. He claimed to see a great hawk in the sky. He vowed that the hawk would lead the Chimer to a new home. They drug, they drove to the pass, but after a time, the Chimer, I think Chimer, could go no farther. A great wall of ice blocked their way. Then a powerful voice blew from the mountains. Who are you and why you've come to this place? We are people without a home, replied Veloth to the mountain. A young woman stepped from the wall of ice. And who are you? I am Chimer, friend. I have come to lead you home if you want to accept my challenge. I demand, oh, I'm going to get attacked? No. I demand a sacrifice of you, Veloth. Swear an oath that you will make that will make, swear an oath that will make you a better mer. Veloth hoisted his mighty hammer and proclaimed, Never again shall I wield this tool any other slay a foe. I have given my heart to my people, but now I shall give them more. I shall dedicate my life and my soul to them. The woman turned and waved at the wall of ice. It melted away in moments. Beyond lay an alien wall land of fungus and ash. She began to walk forward, and the Chimer followed. Velas spoke to his people. We are home, he declared. This is the anvil upon which we shall forge a new people. One journey ends here, but another journey begins. So kind of a creation myth? History of a people type book? No author here, so maybe it's supposed to be like apocryphal. But not apocryphal, like a like a you know, oral tradition perhaps. Separating down, obviously. Cool. Cabinet. I'll take that. Oh, I'll do talk to you. Oh, hi. Hmm. The armor, helm, and sword are all badly damaged. 
Skeptics might say these could have belonged to anybody. We need to find Phalevon's Horn of Magnificence to settle the question for good. But where is the horn? Why isn't it here? You didn't say anything about horn before. First time hearing of a horn. Phalevon's Horn of Magnificence was his greatest treasure. My grandmother told me he made it from the horn of a Minotaur Lord. It had a brass cap inscribed with an intricate design. When Phalevon blew it, echoes rang from the hills for seven days. It's pretty good. That's a pretty good horn. Your grandmother told you about Phalevon? I thought you were a scholar. Okay, yeah, okay, your story's falling apart here. I am. Mostly. But yes, I have a personal stake in this. Phalevon is a distant ancestor. I grew up on stories of his battles, his magic horn. Oh, could this be about the horn? I mean, I'll, I'll begin this by saying I think you're allowed to have you know your own sort of perception. I mean, it's good to acknowledge your own uh, uh, you know uh, biases, I guess, or stakes um, in your research, right? What about the horn? Grandmother told me the horn's note drove Minotaurs mad with fear and rage. But sometimes the horn called Minotaurs to battle even when no one sounded it. Maybe the Minotaurs are here because of the Horn of Magnificence. That feels like a bit of conjecture, but I guess we'll find out. Are you sure your grandmother wasn't just making up a story? Oh, I wondered about that too. House Vero mostly died out long ago, but they were certainly real enough. Okay. We can trace a relationship to Phalevon's line on my mother's side. There is truth to my grandmother's tales. I'm certain of it. Does anyone else believe your grandmother's stories? No. No one outside my family remembers... Oh, what? Oh. I mean, I was talking. I feel like it's gonna happen a lot. These relics? Oh, I wondered about that. No. No one outside my family remembers Phalevon. Almost all of the histories that recorded his deeds have been lost. Even his mausoleum vanished. But now I'm close to the proof that Phalevon really existed and was a great hero. Cool. Bye. All right. So let's we go all the way back down there. Okay. Don't like that. Yeah. Feet cost. I don't. Do I have a feet? I mean. Might as well equip it. Leave those torch bugs alone for I think we have enough insect parts for a minute. Yes. All right. Um, let's go this way. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, another god is going to join the fight here. I'm running out of mana. I'm with my staff here. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna go this way. Did you hear that? Yeah. Horn. I did hear that horn. Wow. I bet this could be a big minotaur I have to fight. First a goblin though. Hmm. Let's head this way. So that's what a sky chart in here I should try to find. Let's see this 
guys. Hello. Basket. This is trunk. And I'm at it. I'm sure I heard the horn in this chamber. Let's find out. Four box. Yeah, I'll take that. Any books over here? A bookcase. Oh, can't look at this bookcase. Oh, okay, so I'm gonna, then I'm gonna fight somebody. You know, I'm, I'm gonna eat this nice little crown fortifying meal. I'm typically the person that like, saves all that stuff up because I want to use it, I want to save something else, but I'm gonna try to embrace the uh, the moment here. Just use things as I get them. Oh, that seemed bad. Alright. Why was it? Do Viac the Smasher? Familiar there is really taking it, taking it, taking the brunt of this. Oh, this guy doesn't need to get in the mix. That seems unnecessary. Try that again. Do I have any healing potions? I do not. Let's add this to something now. Just for fun. We'll use this gift of help. Just to see if that helps us out at all. Somebody else is gonna fight this guy. Okay, let's get in this guy's fight. That's way easier when this dude's around. Thanks, buddy. You're probably not reading books, huh? Oh, there's a chest over here, though. You gonna unlock that, too? Oh, he's got. This guy's. Yeah, he's got a lot of. A lot of champion points. Oh, well. Okay. These relics? Guess we don't all get that chest. That's fine. He did the heavy lift in there. Got this horn magnificence. Salomon's horn! Just as the stories described it. Did this goblin sound the note we heard? I think we'll try to find the sky shard though. What is the clue for the sky shard? High above a garland scheme. We do garland scheme. Oh, I came through here, so. Oh, there it is. Cool. Oh, going up. Some goblins. Oh, no. Oh, hi, bud. Fish. 
that down. Above. I was still above. Below. Oh, whoopsie. That's the professional term for that, whoopsie. Oh, you're not going the wrong way. How come I can't figure out how to get there? Oh. So I didn't work out a little harder. It's in the barrels. Grapes. Now let's get out of here. Like we can get out through here, if you don't mind getting a little wet. No, I'm done with this place. Let's get out of here. All right. Talk to you. Finish up this relics and rumbling quest, probably. Where are you? Oh, well. Fight some bears for bog dogs, I guess. Fight some bog dog first. Got that. All right. Finally, I want to take them back to Gideon and prove once and for all that my family's story is true. Fame, fortune, festivities await. But if these relics, especially the Horn of Magnificence, are dangerous, perhaps I shouldn't bring them home. So I think these red things mean that I can't, whatever choice I make, there's no taking it back. I don't really know how much that inflects the story of the game, though. Like, it doesn't feel like that is a consequence that has meaningful, but meaningful consequences, I guess. So let's see here. As long as you don't blow the horn, you'd be fine. Gideon's at the fire. Destroy the Horn of Magnificence. It's not if you know the truth. Um... Yeah, just don't play the horn, right? You're right. Thalevon's magnificence deserves to be remembered far and wide. I'll take mm. these historical relics. Was that right? I guess we'll find out. The truth of my family's old legends. Thank you for your encouragement. You're welcome. Oh, we good. We may be bruised, battered, and wet. I don't think I need to meet Cleaver. A magnificent story. Without your help, I'd never have learned about the fate of Thalevon and the horn. Thank you. Oh. I shouldn't forget your pay. Visit me and Gideon sometime. Okay, will do. Uh, what is Meat Cleaver all about? Cooly me, but sharp enough to separate an enemy's head from their shoulders. Okay. This great works reward for your efforts in Undertow, Undertow Cavern. All right. I uh, don't think I'm gonna use that because I'm think I'm not really a two-handed axe type of guy, but it does look pretty cool. Uh, complete quest. I hope to see you again sometime. Although I must confess, now that I finally found evidence supporting the legend of Thalavon. I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to do next. Well, find a new mystery unravel. And just in case, don't anyone let blow the horn. Yep. Don't worry about me. I shall set out at once. And I shall neither fear, fret, nor flinch from any dangers on my road. Okay. After all, I share the bloodline of a great hero. A few generations removed, anyway. Fair enough. All right, goodbye. Um, all right. You know, I think for this first initial session of reading scrolls online we're gonna leave it there um as i said uh this has been a production of uh the center for games interacting media uwg bay uh, uw green bay uh you'll see a lot of stuff on this channel on good game green bay uh coming up uh next week we'll have some student centered shows uh we're playing through hades and uh, baba is you um along with some other good stuff so uh, keep your eyes peeled to this channel 
Uh, and I'm going to try to stream this pretty regularly. Uh, I think on Mondays. I'll uh, come up here on out. Uh, but yeah, as I said, a lot of good stuff uh, pop up on this channel. Make sure to give that a follow. And whatever other you know people say, like, subscribe, etc., etc. Uh, but yeah, uh, that'll be it. Let's read some more next time. See you, folks.